hold the phone. Hang on a minute, let me be right back and let me have an appropriate headband on. Hello friends and welcome back to the Misty Show. Today's video is a special Easter video. Happy Easter by the way. I have a quite a bit of blind bags or blind items, blind toys. I don't know if that's even the appropriate term, but I got a lot of toys to open today. These are mystery and they're all Easter themed. So I actually forgot that I had all of these and I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and film this video and put it up on Easter and have like an Easter, an Easter toy celebration, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm probably, let me show you the ones that I, that I'm going to be opening today. I have several of these, uh, mystery peeps, uh, a couple of those. And I have Disney with stitch collectible minifigure egg. I've got Barbie with a little bunny on there. I have Alice's Wonderland Bakery. I don't know anything about this cartoon. Let me know in the comments. Do you have a child that watches this cartoon? I didn't even know it was in existence, but I thought that it looked interesting in the store. I also have Puppy Dog Pals. Again, not a cartoon that I'm familiar with. Let's see. I've got... Oh, you're another Barbie. Oh, you know what I just found in here? Hold the phone. Hang on a minute. Let me be right back and let me have an appropriate headband on. I mean, I even had to move the camera back a little bit so you could see my headband Easter bunny egg and you can't even hardly see them. But just know, in theory, I got on bunny ears that you can't even see. But you know, I'm not gonna waste my money. I bought them to wear in this video. All right. And I also have that I ordered on the Amazons, Disney's Dorables Surprise Eggs. So there's surprises inside these eggs and they're it's all easter themed so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and gather these together a little bit and take off some of the plastic because that's what takes forever is taking off the plastic and um we'll do these um grouped at a time so we'll do the Barbie ones first, the Peep ones first, and kind of get them going so we can see. And I think I just bought a couple of each. So hopefully we'll get some little variances in there. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and get these started to open. So it saves us a little bit of time and you don't have to hear me rustling around with the paper. Okay, so the first series that I'm going to do are the Peeps Mystery Egg. I did get these at Walmart and I paid $4.98 for these. So I left the the material on this first one but i got one of each color so the way that i tend to take off the paper is with my scissors and then just peel it off and luckily these were pretty easy so we're going to do the purple one first i don't know i'm assuming that there's like little plushy peeps inside oh my word do they screw off oh maybe they do Oh, oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. These are adorable. Look, they're little plush peeps. This one has like a little tutu on and little bunny ears. That's adorable. Now it says collect them all. And they are made by Dandy. And Dandy did make some vintage toys. Well, they weren't vintage when they were made, but Dandy. Look at that. Oh, they're, so some of them could be the little chicks. This one is really cute, and you know what? You could definitely use this in a display. It's all plushy and cute. That's really cute. And I'm wondering, does the color of the plush have anything to do with the color of the egg? We'll find out. Let's do the blue one next. You know, it's, okay. No, it doesn't, because this is a blue egg. And look, we got a little yellow peep. A little plushy yellow peep. Now, I don't like peeps. I don't like marshmallow to eat, but I do like to decorate with them for Easter. He kind of looks like, like a mounted thing that you'd hang on the wall, you know, like with deer and stuff. But look at him. They don't smell. You know I have to smell them. 
And again, they came with the, uh, the little insert. All right, let's try yellow. Ooh, yellow and we got a blue peep. Little chick that matches the yellow one. Little plushy. That's cute. So we've got we've got different ones. Last peep. I hope it's a bunny. I hope it's a bunny. It is. Ooh, oh cute. Oh, we got we got two uh little posters in this one. This one's a little tie-dyed bunny. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. Those are really cute. Those will look really cute in a little Easter display too. So I'm impressed with the peeps. I really would have really have liked to gotten one with the glasses, but you know, maybe we'll go to, I have to go to Walmart today, but maybe, you know, after Easter, they'll be on sale and I'm going to check that out because I, I'll, I will buy them on sale. And then, you know, you can save these little eggs to do Easter egg hunts with the kids and stuff, too. But those are really, really cute. All right. I'm going to do, we're going to do Barbie next. I got two Barbies. These were also in the Easter aisle of Walmart. And they were $3.98. Collect them all. So let's see. See, there's like a little perforated where you could tear it, essentially. But... That never works for me. I always have to use the scissors. So let's see. We're gonna peel your face off, Barbie. That's that that I don't have the patience to to do things like that. So we're just we're 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 gonna do it the fast way. If you're if you're a child and you're watching this, you don't do it this way. You get someone to help you because you know you could cut yourself. But here we got Barbie's eggs. Barbie surprise eggs. Ooh, and these are blind bags on the inside. We've got a sticker on the inside. And let's see. I wonder if the sticker matches the figure on the inside. No. Oh, oh my gosh. Look, it's a little bar purple Barbie tiger. Is that a tiger? It's a feline of some sort. But look, it's all flocked. That's really, really cute. His little head doesn't move. So the sticker doesn't really correlate with the toy that's on the inside. But very, very nice. But I'm going to tell you, I've gotten those puppy in my pockets from Dollar Tree that are flocked. And they're just as nice for $1.25. All right, here's the second one. Well, we got the same sticker. But I don't think we got the same figure because I'm seeing some yellow in this little blind bag here. Oh my gosh, it's a Barbie dog. Look at Barbie's dog. It's like a little golden retriever. Very, very cute. A little bit larger of a size than the puppy in my pocket. That's adorable. And these are like the size that, you know, you could use them in your Barbie playing area. If you're a kid or if you're an adult and you like to play Barbie, there's no judgment here. But, you know, it's it's the sizing is appropriate for Barbie. Those are cute. $3.98. That's a great deal for um, a, an Easter basket gift. All right. Let's do Alice's. I'm, an assu I'm assuming that Alice, she's got some cooking things in here. It just says it's a collectible minifigure. But it says bonus stickers inside. These I also purchased at Walmart in the Easter section for $3.98. And I did get two of them. I'm not going to cut on Alice's face. We'll cut to the side of your face, Alice. Although we are peeling the top of your head off. These eggs, too, are woo, a little slippery. These little Alice eggs, I will say, are a little bit different. They're a little bit more iridescent. Then the other ones, it just takes forever to just unwrap them. I'm going to get them both unwrapped. Oh, that one I did kind of go on her face. Sorry, Alice. That's the only bad part about this. I mean, it's kind of fun, though, I guess, because it makes the in. You want to see what's inside? It makes it a little bit more intense, I guess. All right. Alice's egg. Oh my gosh, I love this because I like the Cheshire cat. Look at him. And there's Alice. Who knew Alice could bake? Not me. I didn't know that about Alice. 
But I don't know this cartoon at all. Oh, cute. You know, Alice in Wonderland is very, well, it's very mythical kind of and very odd. So we've got a little critter here that looks like a parrot with dog ears. I don't, like I said, I don't know this cartoon at all, but it's very, very cute. Also could be used with Barbie stuff. All right, here is the second one. We, we got a different sticker. I don't know who that character is. We did get a different character because I'm seeing some pink. So that's good. We haven't gotten any uh, doubles. Let's see. Oh, yay! Oh, I'm so glad. I was honestly, I was really hoping that I would get the Cheshire. And I always say his name. Is it Cheshire? 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 It's a hard word to say. But I liked him. We're all a little mad here. <laughs> when he's kind of like, he stands up on his tail and he's kind of like, he's a plastic, but he looks like he could be squishy. He's not. Oh, I like him. I like that. All right, Alice. Had nothing to do with baking. Nothing to do with baking. All right, let's try stitch. I got two stitch Easter eggs. These were also in the Walmart Easter section, and they're also $3.98. It says that they are collectible minifigures. Okay, so we're gonna open up this one. They're not too hard to open. That's good, but we're gonna open up the other one too. All right, first stitch. Look, they got little air holes in there so he can breathe. All right, this one we also get stickers. They're sti I don't know, is that Stitch's girlfriend? With bunny ears on? got a little blind bag with the minifigure on the inside. Oh, he's so, oh my gosh. Look at him. He's like, oh, I didn't do that. Or maybe he's like looking at his little girlfriend and he's saying, oh, she's so cute. These are really, really cute. They are marked Disney on the bottom. Very, very cute. Here we got the second one. All right, we got the same sticker. I'm hoping that that means, I'm hoping that it's a different figure. Fingers crossed. It is. It's a stitch, but he's in a different little pose. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, these are really, really cute. Really, really cute. $3.98. And you know, some of the fun of the blind bags is just, you know, the mystery of seeing what you're going to get. I really like those. I approve. Seal of approval. All right, and then apparently, okay, I got two of the Disney Junior Puppy Pals. Um, we've got, these were also in the Walmart, to uh, no, in the Walmart Easter section, $3.98. And one is a pink egg and one is like a seafoam green egg. I just wondered if one's like for girls and one's for boys. Oh, I love the color of this egg though. I, again, I don't know this cartoon. Oh, I just opened the whole thing. Well, it comes with a little robot dog sticker, but it, it wasn't a blind bag. Well, we're just gonna open this one first since I already since I already have it open. Little minifigure. Okay, so this one does match the sticker, the little robot dog. I don't know this cartoon. But they're very, very cute and very, very... That that sculpt is such a Disney sculpt on there. So that's really cute. I like the color of this egg. All right. Ooh. So let's open up this one. And I think we're going to do the Disney Dorables. I had a, um, I had a subscriber... Um, and I opened it up on my main channel, uh, send me some blind bags. So I think I'm going to add that as part of, the, of this video as well. We're going to open up the blind bags that she had sent. Um, so that's going to, we'll just add that to this video if you, if you all don't mind. But this one's like the, a lavender color egg. And we've got Bingo. Now let's see if Bingo matches the sticker, if this is Bingo. And it is. And you know what? I kind of like that. I kind of like that you get the figure and you also get the sticker that matches it. 
my only thing is I wish the sticker was inside. That way the whole thing, because like if you're opening this up, you know you're going to get that one. But little bingo. What are you, a pug bingo? He's really, really cute. Very, very cute. These, I, I'm telling you, for, for $3.98, a great thing to put in to your child's Easter basket. All right, we're going to do the Disney Dorbles, the surprise eggs. I don't know how easy these are going to be to open. But we'll see. I, I opened up the cardboard. But we've got six eggs. They are wrapped in clear plastic. It just says six exclusive pastel figurines and stickers included. So they're exclusive. So they probably, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that they were probably the same. Every pack had the same figures. I could be wrong, but that's just what I'm assuming. Okay, so let's do purple egg number one. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got my fave, the Cheshire cat. There's the sticker. And there he is. Not in a blind bag. It is in a clear bag. So you see what you're getting after you open the, the egg. But they're, they are pastel color. Look at how cute. And there's our, you can't really see his little stripes there too much. But very, very cute. And it matches his Sticker. So we're going to do the little blue egg. You know, I think I'm going to stop here. I'm going to take the plastic off of all of the eggs. Okay, I got them all opened up. So let's do the purple one next. Oh, we got Pink Stitch. I don't know who Pink Stitch is. Are you Stitch's girlfriend? Oh my gosh, you're really, really cute. The thing that I love about the Disney Dorbles are their eyes. They have a lot of emotion in their eyes. Look at that. It's little winking eyes. So, so cute. Or maybe this is just pink Stitch. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Did Stitch have a girlfriend? Maybe he did. Again, I like Disney, but I don't really watch a lot of the Disney movies. Oh my gosh. Look at little baby Sully. So, Sully is more of a pastel blue. You know, he's not his normal darker blue. But look, he's waving high. Look at his two little teeth. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. And they are like pastel colors for Easter. So, here we've got... I don't know this movie. Is it the movie about your brain? Do you have any clothes on, miss? She, she kind of looks like she's naked. But I think she's got a little yellow dress on. What is her name? Let me know in the comments. I've heard, I've heard that people have told me, oh, Missy, you should really watch that movie because it's really, really cute. Maybe one day I will. Oh, my gosh. Here's a little frog. I think this is from um, Tiana. It's Tiana's friend from, from that movie. Well... I'll put it up on the screen. But look, it's Tiana's little frog friend that I don't know the name to. But I really like, I really like this sweet little color. When I'm done opening these, I'll put them all on a board and I'll show you them. Oh my gosh, of course, of course. I was going to say, we got to have at least either Minnie or Mickey. We have Minnie there and she's adorable. I have to tell you, I'm really curious though to see... To find out if there were different figures in each packet. But there's Minnie. She's got her sweet little pastel pink bow and her little purple dress. So let me, oh Mickey or Minnie, are you going to stand? Let me get all six of them on this board. Look at how cute the collection is. I mean, really cute. For spring, you could absolutely just tuck these in and add to a shelf for a display. So those are adorable, adorable. I don't remember how much I paid for the whole thing. I'll try to find it and I'll put it up, in the, up, up on the screen. All right, I'm gonna grab the blind bags that a, a friend of mine sent to me. So we're gonna open those real quick too. All right, my friend Michelle sent me now, I don't know that we're going to get to all of these today. I might have to sprinkle them in, but 
a whole big old bag full. Oh, you went rocking. I'm sorry. Whew, whole big bag full. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is going to be, this is a treat. Now she, she, she did send me some of these. These are jungle in my pocket. Um, and so I'm going to open up those first. And these were the Barbie ones that we just opened that are flocked. And the jungle in my pocket and the puppy in my pocket are all available at Dollar Tree. And they're flocked and they're really cute. Look at this. This one's a little snow tiger. Oh my gosh, what are you? A white tiger. This is Whitney. But see, for $1.25, they're all flocked. And when I say flocked, it means they're fuzzy. Very, very sweet for $1.25. Half the price as the Barbie ones. So there's that jungle in my pocket. We've got another jungle in my pocket. This one is, this one I think is, is a common one because it shows up a lot. It's Fernando and he is the, the black buffalo. I'm a black, but, he's, but I'm brown, but technically I'm a black buffalo. That's my species, but he's very, very cute. All right, is there another jungle? Yes, we got another jungle. These are very easy to open, which I like. Oh, we don't have this one. This is one that I don't have. This is Lionel, and he is an, yeah, he's an Asian lion. So, so cute. I love his little tail here. Aw, love those. All right, do we have any more jungle in my pocket? I don't think we do. So now we'll move on to puppy and oh, puppy in my pocket. Again, Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five. Oh, I love this one. This one is the Quincy. Quincy is a silky terrier. Oh, and he is also flocked. These would be good with your little with your in a dollhouse or a you know even a Barbie playset. Oh, I don't have this one. This one is, oh, this one's Cindy. Cindy's my best friend. Cindy is a Pekingese. There's Cindy. Ah, Cindy. Oh, so cute, Cindy. You're so cute, Cindy. All right, another puppy in my pocket. This was such a treat, Michelle. Thank you for sending me these. Okay, so this one is Bonnie. Bonnie is a Lakeland, a Lakeland Terrier, and Bonnie likes to balance balls on her head. Good job, Bonnie. Also flocked in. Oh, I about, I about put Bonnie in the trash. No, oh, Bonnie, we don't want to put you in the trash. Okay, so now we're moving on to, ooh, there's only one. Michelle must have only been able to find one kitty in my pocket. I think these are a little bit harder to find. Also at Dollar Tree. Also a dollar twenty-five. Oh my gosh. This one is Sketcher. And it's a Turkish van. This is Sketcher. Look at he's like ready to pounce on something. Give me that mouse. Michelle also sent Puppy Club. These are the Arctic baby animals. So they're a little bit smaller. And these also are from Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-five, and they come with little igloo houses. So let's see which one we got in here. So like I said, they're smaller. Oh, how cute. This one, and they don't have names. They're much smaller than the puppy in my pockets. I'll show you in just a moment. They're also flocked and they are adorable. So they all come with these little igloo houses and they all can stack on top of one another. Look at this little baby flocked bunny. Oh, it's so cute. And then they can go inside its little home. And then you can stack the, the little igloos on top of one another. All right, so what's this next one? Ooh, this one's a little seal. Now, the little seal is not flocked. Or you're a sea lion, I think, because you've got the little tusks. But don't ask me. I always get the animal names wrong. But he can go inside his little igloo, too. So you take the lids off, and then you can stack them one on top of one another. So you can make a little a little stack of your animal friends. All right, we've got one more of that. Of that. Oh, and it's a different one. It's a little polar bear. Oh, it's adorable. And the polar bear is flocked, I think. Yeah. 
look at the polar bear. He's flocked. He's got a little pink home. So let's take off the dome. We'll put him inside. Boop. Put you inside. And then we'll stack those. See? Oh, it came on connected. Really cute. And I've said this before. If you are, if you have a birthday party to go to and you, you know, money's a little tight. I swear if you go in, you just grab five or six of the blind bags that they have at, um, at Dollar Tree, you're good. You will make a child very, very happy. So we've got some more blind bags that Michelle had sent. We've got two of Real Little's Shopkins. I'm like shaking you all around. If you're new to my channel, I'm sorry, but you will move around a lot and you might, you might go for a little ride. So you might have to put your seatbelt on, your helmets, whatever you need, because I move a little quick sometimes, quicker than my brain tells me to. Anyway, Shopkins, Real Littles. I like these because they are anthropomorphic, which means it's something that takes on a human form. So they're like food that looks like people. Ooh, I like that. That's just, a, you just rip on into that bag. So this one is one Shopkin, one mini pack. So these are cute. So you get the little container and this is the Haribo mini rainbow frogs. And then you open it up and it's, it's wrapped in little tissue paper, which I kind of like because it makes it a little bit more. Oh, what's it look like? What's it look like? Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Oh, look at them. I'm going to use these just so my hand's out of the way. Look, they are little mini gummy frogs. Don't focus on my face, camera. Look at the little eyeballs down there. Look at the top. They're little gummy frogs. And then they fit right back in their container. Adorable. That one was really cute. I'm not sure where these are sold at. I'm thinking probably not Dollar Tree, but I could be wrong. Michelle, if you're watching, let me know. Oh my gosh. So here's the next one. Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see these on the inside. So look, it's jet puffed marshmallows. And then it's almost like a little Ziploc bag. So you open up the bag and out you come. Maybe. Like I said, the only, the only thing that would make the Shopkins Real Littles better is if they smelled like marshmallow or like the gummies. This is adorable. Look at that marshmallow. Marshmallow. Someone took a bite out of that marshmallow. I love the little fat rolls on the back. That's adorable. And it's kind of squishy. That is so cute. I almost hate to put you in your bag, little marshmallow man. That's adorable. Adorable. Thank you again, Michelle. All right. So we've got two of these stitch collectible figures. And then we have a Care Bear. And a Disney Dorable. And these are the these are fun because do you get two? Do you get three? You don't know until you open them up. Let's do this one first. Scissors. Gotta get it started so we can unwrap it. This one is series six of the Disney Dorables. Okay, we got two. Oh, this is a good this is a banner day because I'm getting my favorite. Cheshire cat. We're all mad around here. Can't you hear his little laugh? Very, very cute. He's like, his head is on the bottom where, and there's, that's where his head should be, but it's not there. He's standing on it. And then, are you Belle? Ah, I don't know. Who are you, girl? Are you Belle? I'm, I'm getting Belle vibes, like Beauty and the Beast Belle, but I could be completely wrong. Who am I? You know, you can always let me know in the comments. Those are cute. Those will go in my jars. If you don't want it, if you're like, what do you do with all of these? I keep them in jars. All right, so let's open up the Care Bear. This is Care Bear's 40th anniversary. Oh, that can't be. 40th. This is series one. Collect all 10. I'm hoping that we get grumpy. 
That's my favorite. Grumpy or Bedtime Bear? Grumpy just because I like his attitude sometimes. Bedtime Bear because that's the only Care Bear that I had as a child was Bedtime Bear. Okay, so it comes in a cute little, very cute little branded plastic clamshell case. We got Wish Bear. I think you're Wish Bear. These are really cute. They almost remind me of a Funko. They were made by Cloud Co. Basic Fun. Very cute. Ooh, I buy more of these. I'm going to buy more. These are adorable. Oh, look, he's, he's doing a little heart with his hand. Well, you can't see it yet, but look. That's Wish Bear. He's doing a little heart with his hands. Oh my gosh, those are really cute. Okay, I'm gonna have to find more of those. Care Bear. It says, collect all 10 Care Bear Cubs figures. Who will you bring home? We brought home Wish Bear. This is really cute. It almost reminds me of like what you keep your retainer in, you know? But gosh, that could you could keep something in that. It closes up. That's nice. I like that. And then the last two we have left are Stitch Mini Collectible Figurines. The case is really cute because it looks like a big Stitch head. Let's open you up, Stitch. What's inside your brain? I like it when the blind bags have that, um, like, when you can't see through it. This one... I'm so glad. I really, this is one of the ones I really want. It's Wiener Stitch. I got, I love my hot dog. Oh my gosh. Look, it's hot dog and hamburger. Hot dog and a hamburger stitch. They're ready for summer. Those are really cute. And the cases are really kind of neat too. Because they do snap back together. If you are an artist, which I am not, you could probably paint something really cool on there. You know what I mean? I am not, so I will leave that up to the professionals, but I think that would be kind of cool to paint a little, a little something on there, if you would, but wow, that, these are really cute, so thank you, Michelle, for sending me a big bag of happiness, that was a lot of fun, and um, the Easter ones were a lot of fun, I'm so glad that I remembered that I had those, I'm behind, I still have more blind bag things to open so stay tuned for that this channel is just kind of a hodgepodge it's not it's not reselling content it's just kind of things that are fun for me so a lot of unboxings and there might be some travel things on there and that sort of thing so if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and um and if you're not subscribed to my main channel go on over there as well it's thrifter junker vintage hunter it is linked in the description below I have live sales every week on there and I do shop with me's and all things vintage and antiques and reselling and collecting and that sort of thing. This channel is just a, just an extra little fun one for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you know some of the names of these figures that I did not know, make sure that you put that in the comments. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Happy Easter and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.